What's up, you guys? It is your best buddy. I borrowed down. And uh, I'm here with another cast. This one is uh, a game between me, or a match between me and Garrett, who is from Wisconsin. He's one of the promoters out there. He says he does some league stuff. It was really cool meeting Garrett this week. I really like this kid. He's, he's a super nice guy. I had fun talking to him. Boom, and he leads off, uh, gets, gets the first point of the game. He's up 1-0. I go for a lane pass, completely whip it, but uh, it hits the back wall and I'm able to pick it up. Set it up for the roller. Let's see what I can do here. Try to go push side, hit the wall. Setting up for the roller again. Can I convert? Nope, go pull side, Garrett is on it. Try for a push kick, ill-advised. But luckily it comes back to me. And set him for a third attempt on this ball. Stroke it home to the pull side. It is tied one to one. Check out my fancy overlay. Aren't I so fancy with my points in game count, you guys? Oh man, kind of uncharacteristic of me to, to let that ball roll through. Oh, but then Garrett does me a favor and pops it back to me. That's nice. Even Steven. Oh, nice. I call that the Beth hack. Because uh, Beth likes to do that one. Basically, you know, you just do like basically a straight, kind of like you do like a, a second man stick pass, but you just don't hit your second man. Hit go in the short hole. That's actually a fucking sick option, dude. Like if you if you hit a good left hook, people will start going out there on that hook. Oh my god, look at that dink and I hit the post. That was there. I'm not going to feel bad about that dink. Okay, get it back on the three. Let's see if I can convert this roller. Middle. Nice. I go up three to one. Okay, let's see what Garrett's got on the five here. Tic-Tac hits the second man pass. I wouldn't call it Tic-Tac, I guess. But yeah, second man pass would be pretty nice. Sets up the roller. Oh, strokes on the push side. Very nice from Garrett. Now the score is three to two. Your best friend, five bar of doom with the sick lane pass. Buttery. Sets it up for that roller. Strokes to the pull side, misses it. Dude, I mean, that dink is there again. Look how it hit the corner, man. I can't believe I missed two of those this game. And it was totally there, in my opinion. Goes for a pull side, and I score it. I mean, barely pull side, because that was, it was not very deep. But luckily, it just went in anyway. Garrett going for a little pull kick out of the back there. Didn't work. Going for two to five pass, which I already said. I fucking love these two to five passes, dude. How, how many two to fives am I picking off, man? He tries one, <laughs> he tries one two to five. I pick it off. Immediately pull side. I'm up five to two. Now I'm finally up two because, oh, tried to go for the immediate pull kick. I think it was actually a good decision. I just misexecuted it. So I'm up five and two. I need two more points. He needs three more points. Try for the hook. No good. Garrett with a very nice wall pass. Really nice. And his roller has been looking pretty good so far. So he's, oh, nice, dude. Kind of like a tic tac it around push kick. Makes it five to three. So now essentially, essentially it's tie game because we both need to get two more points. Yeah, Garrett was cool, man. I really enjoyed talking to this guy. Hey, Garrett, if you're out there, um, send me a friend request on Facebook. I have no idea what your last name is, obviously, based on the captions here. But Garrett was cool, man. He's also a uh, software architect. You know, I'm a software engineer, so we're both uh, computer programmers, basically. So uh, it's always cool to meet somebody else in Foosball that's doing the computer programming thing. I hit the very high, high, uh, very steep uh, lane or wall pass there. Another pull side, make it six to four. Looking good. I only need one more point to win this match. Oh, Garrett with a nice bounce lane, but he uh, didn't. He maybe hit it too hard, or oh wow, now that was a good decision. Not. I tried the back wall pass. Oh, look at me with my two to five. Hey guys, try two to five on me and see how it goes for you. Hey, do you like passing two to five on me? Try it. 
I dare ya. And I take a timeout. Good timeout. You know, it's like match point, or not match point, game point for me. Take a timeout on the three. But, dude, have you ever seen anybody pick off so many two to five passes? I swear, dude. Anybody tries two to five, I'm so happy. Yep. All right, first time out of the game, I put it back in play. Set the roller, trying to win game number one. Oh, he blocks it. A little bit of four-wheel drive action. And I win game number one. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. This game, I feel like I'm playing okay. I mean, there's always some, like, three-bar consistency issues. For Garrett, I don't really know what tips I have or what things he's doing wrong. I mean, he drops some passes. You know what I mean? I don't know. You know what I mean? I guess I don't have too much good input. So right out of the gate, he goes for that second man pass. Looks like it was open, but, uh, but he mis-executed it. Here's me being a complete moron. Well, that was weird that I missed that 2-5. Rolled right through my 5-bar. I tried for the aerial. The thing that's cool is, like, if you shoot a, oh, look at that, dude, Matrix, uh, the ball just, like, I, I front pinned it and was able to, like, roll it back. It was pretty cool. So I got it on my three bar. Go for that pull side. And Garrett is all over it. Here goes for two bar, two bar shots. Successful clear. I don't know why I'm setting up for this aerial. I should just be like literally last match. I was doing my two to five just fine. Now here is me with the aerial. Well, I mean, actually, I know one reason why I was shooting the aerial is because I'm up. I'm up a game, so I'm sort of don't care. That was actually a pretty good aerial attempt. And, I mean, the aerial is just the coolest. Sorry, Jim. Sorry, Jim Burns. The aerial is the coolest shot ever to exist. Oh, and Garrett unfortunately hit it in on himself. So I take the lead one zero in this game. Really nice chip pass from Garrett there. Sets up his roller. And mis-executes it. A lot of action on that ball. But luckily, I'm able to just contain it. Garrett said he started playing during the pandemic. Um, you know, like 2020. So he's been playing about four years. He's playing pretty good. And like I said, he's been running some, uh, I think he's been running some leagues out in Wisconsin. I tried for the uh, two to five pass there. Kind of mess it up, and then still goes back to my five. Hey, baby, back wall. Oh, and I try to dig. See, any dude. The, here's the problem with the back wall pass. Anytime you go back wall, it just makes you want to go Mortal Kombat fucking combo with like the coolest shot you can think of on the three bar. All right, I wasn't paying attention there, but I scored another one. I think it might have been middle. Garrett, beautiful lane pass. Sets up on three on the pull side. Oh, hits that middle. He kind of taps the table, but honestly, like, he had it either way. It cut back, but it would have been fine if he hit it straight. Unless he was trying to go, like, long push or something. He blocks my five. I get it back. Oh, sweet hook. Get some. I'm up three to one. So now I've essentially tied it. You know what I mean? Let's think about these handicappers. Oh, see, so mis-executed that pass. Made the right choice, lane was open, just didn't catch it. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm just I guess I'm just shooting aerials here, you guys. I don't know why I'm doing it. <laughs> I fucking I like try to bail out of the aerial to my two to five, miss execute, and then it squeezes to my three. So some bad luck for Garrett there. But he blocks it. He's looking around doing some different stuff. Do you try to do a back wall pass there? I don't know. But either way, I picked it up. Go for the nice steep lane. Go for a dink. Why? It's not there. I think clearly if, you, if you're if you watching this game, you see like I'm just a little bit, uh, I'm feeling a little funsy. Feeling a little funsy this game. Doing all my dumb shit. Here we go. Speaking of dumb shit. Oh, no. Am I actually going to shoot? Wow. Look at that pass, baby. Now that that's a good option, man. If if you know if you if you shoot a pull a pull shot out of the back, please consider that option. You basically just it's the same. Nice. I score another one. I'm up four to one. 
But yeah, you basically just set it up for a pull shot right on the wall. Hit it directly up the wall. Oh, up brush hack. Oh, this game's getting away from Garrett. It's 5-1. But yeah, basically if you if you do that in pass, like you're like you're doing a wall pass in doubles, but you just do a wall pass in singles. You, uh, if nobody's there on that side, you can just put, pump it down the table. Oh, and look at that two to three, or one to two to three, man. That is a really sweet option. Oh, slinger, far wall slingy. This game's getting away from Garrett, unfortunately. Uh, Mis-execute the pass, a little bit too high in the lane. At this point, I don't blame myself for shooting aerials. I'm up 6-1, who cares? And not a bad aerial attempt. Kept it on the table. Garrett tries for something. I block it directly to my three bar. And let's see if I can close out this match. Yep, I sure can. That's it, man. Another game in the books. I win this one two straight. Uh, beating Garrett, who uh, came all the way to Mike's house from Wisconsin. We are in Midland, Michigan. Uh, it's somewhere like, I don't know, there's like here somewhere. Right here, maybe. Somewhere in there. That's where we're at. Um, anyway, that was a fun game. Uh, I had a good time playing against Garrett. And uh, that's it for this cast. I hope you guys had fun watching, and I'll see you in the next video.